Hi there, it's Lon. I'm preparing for Sunday coming, Transfiguration Sunday, the 11th of February. Um, our faith life is really like a thousand-piece puzzle that you take apart and put the bits and pieces together. It's quite a bit more like a piece of artwork where we might actually live within the image of the artwork and by experience uh, the beautiful God with us um, paints the beautiful picture of what it is that our faith can look like. And yes, there's pieces being added every day and things changing and things being moved around. Uh, but yet, as I say, not a puzzle, but a creation of beauty and a reflection of who we are. And so speaking of reflection on Transfiguration Sunday, which seems just a little odd, but actually it's right in the middle of the of the Gospel of Mark. Uh, and it's right in the middle of a variety of things. It's it's at a shifting moment in the life and ministry of Jesus as he, uh, coming out after the transfiguration, will be pointing and looking towards Jerusalem, towards the east and the beginning of the uh, difficult journey um, to the cross and beyond, uh, to the resurrection, in fact. But as we also um, have, are finishing the epiphany season, we've, it's coming to its logical conclusion. We've had the great shining of light into our own lives, into the darkness. And, and now, as we experience the transfiguration and see what that feels like, we too um, are transformed and we too become ready for the next step which of course comes this week coming with Ash Wednesday and then forward into our Lenten observations. So we are looking uh, towards the cross as well, and we are looking towards the next steps in the journey. So as you experience the beauty of God, the carver God, the artist God, the musician, uh, putting together the bits and pieces of your life, may it be a joy this Sunday what's happening. We worship at St. Mary's at nine o'clock. We worship at St. Stephen's at 1115. It's all put together, beautiful music, beautiful prayers, beautiful um, services coming to celebrate the shining of Jesus into the dark places of this hurting world. So join us if you're able. And uh, if you are not able, may God be with you and God bless you. And for everyone, may we receive the blessing of God as we wait upon God. Thank you.